Amenwa, the House of Representatives Committee on Women Affairs and Social Development has vowed to trace missing 1.5 billion naira meant for the payment of contractors, but allegedly diverted by principal officers of the Ministry of Women Affairs and Social Development. The chairman of the committee, Honorable Kafila Tokbara, and members were visible agitated and stated that a ministry fraudulently initiated new contracts which were not captured in the 2023 budget and diverted 1.5 billion being funds for old contractors. Because you are saying 98.9%, 99.8% of utilization. So let's approximately 100% of funds released. Why are the contractors not paid their monies? What happened? That's the question he's asking. The old man sitting beside you there, irrespective of his tribe, is your brother. And that's the way it should be. You know the answer and you refused to answer until the procurement officer answered. And you know the truth. He has confirmed it that everything they said is true. They have worked, they have delivered, and you have refused to pay them. And the monies for their payment has been allocated from the Accountant General's office. Where is their money? This is the question we are, ask, we are asking you. We are going to put you on oath before you go further. And anything you say that is not the truth henceforth will be held against you and it will be criminal. It has also come to our notice that the committee has gotten the last tranche of 1.5 billion capital fund released to the ministry by office of the accountant general. Yeah, the ministry, sorry. Yeah. And it was released to the office of the accountant general by the office of the accountant general and misappropriated in the out and outrageous contracts were given out which were not captured in the 2023 budget. The permanent secretary and his team were unable to give a satisfactory response to questions posed by the honorable members, which prompted the chairman to give the ministry till Tuesday to come forward with all relevant documents relating to the matter. I have with me today directors that have, were in office when these expenditures were made or when these releases were made and how they were spent. The DFA is here, the procurement team is here, and as such, we believe that we should be able to tackle some of these questions to the best of our ability. Uh, I want to call on the DFA, Alloy, Mr. Alloy if I can do, to answer the question that has just been raised, who was here then, and of course, who uh, graciously has been leading the teams to ICPC. Okay. All the things they said, is it true or not? Yes or no? I wouldn't know, but I will say what I know here. Uh -uh. These contractors, uh, what they have see, said, but, uh, is uh, it true uh, that me, they did put, point No, you are going to answer my question first. Yeah. Is it true or not, all those things they have said, the contractors, that they did their jobs and they were not paid? I'm is only, it true? I'm only a DFI, I'm not the procurement man. Where is the procurement man? Are you not, are you not the Where is the procurement man? The project, in, the contractor are right. Yes. They done their work, they are not paid. So we are going to give you till Tuesday, from now till Tuesday, for you to go back to the office, get all the relevant documents. You will be bringing them here. The Honorable Minister has also been invited. They've done a letter for her to be here on Tuesday. I don't know if it has gotten to you. This committee will hereby give an order that you are going to stop all contracting processes for 2024 appropriation now, immediately until all outstanding issues are, 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 are resolved. There should be no payment to any contractor for any purpose, for any reason, as from today, until we resolve all these issues. I saw rule. We waited for her to appear before the Public Procurement Committee, before we now invited her. Because when she appeared before the Public Procurement Committee, she came alone, and we couldn't do much because we didn't have the documents to work with. So we, we wrote a letter to her about a month ago to appear before this committee. We didn't hear from her whether she was going to come or not. We also sent a reminder last week to invite her to appear. And we didn't hear from her until about three days ago when she wrote us that she wouldn't be able to appear before this committee. It was even two days ago on Tuesday when she wrote that she wouldn't be able to appear before this committee because she will be going to Syria alone to represent 
the first lady. And I understand she went to Syria alone and she arrived this morning.